Hey, what is going on guys? Our Dead Stealth here, and in today's video, we're going to be breaking down the best bot lane combos for Season 10. So if we start things off here for the first combo, it's going to be Soraka paired up with Senna, and this is a really unique combo at the moment because you can play either one of these champions in either role. So you can play Senna as the AD carry or the support. You can play Soraka as the AD carry or the support. So if you're duo, if you have a dual partner, you can you can trade off each game. Say like you have a Soraka main and a Senna main. If one person wants to be the carry one game, they can. If one person wants to be the carry the next game, you can do that as well. So it's a pretty cool combo combination at the moment. What your win conditions are going to be with this combo is you kind of just want to poke and out sustain the opponent. You don't have super good all in potential in the early game, but you do have really good poke potential. So what you should be trying to do is just use your healing in the laning phase to just out trade the opponents. Look to poke with the Senna Q, you get the Glacial Augment slow, and then you very easily line up the Soraka Q for a very nice easy trade during the laning phase. You don't do very well in all-in situations with this combination, and you're not just going to burst an opponent out in the laning phase. You really just want to focus on whittling the opponent down, poke them out with your Q, out-sustain them, and then you're just going to find yourself at a heavy HP advantage during the laning phase if you can do that correctly. You're going to pressure the enemy out of lane, you're going to have complete pressure yourself in lane, so that's what you want to be doing during the laning phase. And then once you do reach the mid to late game, just look to group up with your team. You provide your team with a ton of utility, you got so much healing, you got the silence from Soraka, the root from Senna, the shields from Senna, you just give your team so much, so just look to play around your fed carries once you do reach those mid to late game fights. Alright, so the second combo here is going to be one that's gotten a little bit more popular over the past few patches, and it's Talia paired up with Pantheon, so this one is just your ultimate kill lane, like there's nothing better at the moment if you're just looking to get duo kills, if you're just looking to all in the opponent and just snowball the laning phase, look to play Talia and Pantheon. It's a very easy to execute combo. All you want to be looking to do in the laning phase is even at level one, you can just look to all in with the Pantheon stun into the Talia Q, but where it really comes online is especially once you hit the level three, you can look to go for level two all in, but it comes online once you do have the Talia W along with the Talia E, because what you do is you Pantheon W into the Talia full combo, and it's just a guaranteed burst combo. There's zero counterplay to it, unless the enemy like does take cleanse and they'll have like one cleanse to block one of your combos but once that cleanse is down if they have it you're just going to be able to all in them very easily without any counterplay at all. And then once you hit level 6, both these champions do have great roaming potential. You got the Pantheon ultimate, you got the Talia ultimate, so what you can do at level 6 is you can time your bases, like base at the same time, and then before you go back to bot lane, just look to make a roam play mid, go mid, use both your ultimates there, get a free kill mid. You could even go top lane, but I wouldn't really recommend that because it's going to take you a long time to get back to bot lane, and you might end up losing out on some tower damage and a lot of XP down bot lane, so look to go for the mid roam play for sure and you can just get your team snowballing as well. So the number three synergy here is going to be Aphelios paired up with Janna, and this is just your ultimate keep the Aphelios alive combo. One of the main weaknesses to the champion is the fact that he does not have that gap closer, so he's very vulnerable to dive champions just getting on top of him and bursting him out before he can even do anything in fights, and Janna is arguably the best champion in the game at stopping that or not allowing that to happen. You got the Janna ultimate, you got the tornado, you got the shielding coming out of her, so she pretty much has everything that you would want for a peeling champion and she just does a great job at sitting beside Aphelios in fights and allowing him to deal maximum DPS. As long as you don't die in the early game, you get to a few items, it should be very easy wins with this combination. The Janna player just needs to make sure that she's sitting beside the Aphelios. You don't want to be leaving him. You don't want to be trying to make some crazy like flash all play with Janna. You don't need to do that. Save your ultimate to peel Aphelios. If you can just sit beside him, if you've always got your ultimate up there to peel a dive champion trying to dive on top of him, then you're really never going to lose fights. And if Aphelios stays alive in fights, especially once you reach the the mid to late game, he's going to be able to carry those extremely hard. 
The fourth synergy is going to be Jin paired up with Nautilus, and this is just your ultimate chain CC combo. Like, the enemy is not going to be able to move when you're playing this combination. If you can play it well, you got a really good level 2 all in, Nautilus hook into the Jin route, pretty much a guaranteed flash, if not a guaranteed kill, if you do play that properly. Level 6 all in is very, very foolproof. Like, you should never mess up on a level 6 all in with this combo. You should be getting yourself free kills every single Single game at level six you just throw down the nautilus ultimate press r he combos with his q he procs his passive Jin follows up with his root and the enemy should be cc'd for at least like four or five seconds so they're not gonna have any way to escape if you do use that combo well and then for some reason, if you just mess up on the chain CC combo and the enemy does escape with a sliver of HP, you've got the Jin ultimate there for the insurance. You can just use that to finish off a free kill. So there should be, like, even if you misplay it at level six, there should be no way that you do not get kills with this synergy. And then another really good protect the AD carry type synergy is Twitch paired up with Lulu. So this synergy is very underrated for solo queue. Both champions right now are super underrated. Lulu just got buffed a couple patches ago. She's really strong right now. Twitch is always going to be a very underrated AD carry for solo queue, always super niche. So a lot of players are going to forget how to play against Twitch. And this is why the combo is even better because once you do hit the level six, you can come back to lane as Twitch. You can be in stealth and Lulu just slaps on the W on him slaps on the E and allows him to rain down on the opponent. If you notice the enemy AD carry just sitting in lane farming by himself, if the, if the support isn't back to lane yet, then Twitch just walks up, Lulu sits beside him there, uh, Twitch comes out of stealth. If Twitch needs the ultimate, Lulu can throw that down on him, but a lot of the time, if you just put the Lulu W and E on Twitch, then he's going to be able to win every single duel at level 6 once he does have one item. So because of that surprise factor Twitch does provide, you actually do have really good snowball potential in the early game there, especially for the lower elos to where people aren't going to be respecting the Twitch stealth. Once you do reach the mid to late game, you kind of just want to play this like you would play the Janna Felios combo. So as the Lulu, just sit beside the Twitch, throw everything on him. If you can do that, if the Twitch can position well in fights, then you should never really lose mid to late game fights when you are playing with Lulu Twitch. So one of the strongest laning traditional bot lane combos right now is Lucian paired up with Nami. Nami got a buff a couple patches ago to where her E is now going to proc off of abilities, so it just allows Lucian to get a ton of damage off in a very quick succession. What you can do as Nami is you just throw your E on the Lucian, he hits a Q, he gets his passive proc, he hits that, and it's just so much burst damage so quickly, so you just have the ability to chunk the enemy out super hard in the laning phase. The Nami ultimate there synergizes really nice with the Lucian ultimate too because you can just throw that out at level 6. You don't even need to like auto attack or hit a single other ability. If you just use the Nami ultimate, get the slow off there, allows Lucian to very easily line up his ultimate. He gets a fully channeled ultimate off and you can just chunk the opponent out, if not just straight up kill them at level 6 with that combo. If a bubble hits in the laning phase with this combo, you do have really good all-in potential, so you kind of just want to play off of that. If Nami can consistently hit those in the laning phase, you're going to have a lot of success with this combination, because Lucian can just follow that up with a ton of burst damage and get some really easy kills in lane. Once you do reach the mid to late game, Nami with Lucian is super nice, because with the slow from Nami E, with the passive speed ups, it just allows Lucian to stay a lot more mobile in fights, it allows him to kite out fights a lot better, so because Lucian is a shorter ranged AD carry, Nami just really complements him super nicely. So I think we're on to the seventh combo now. This next one is going to be Caitlyn paired up with either Bard or Morgana. So right now I really like the Caitlyn Bard lane. At the level six there, really good all-in potential. Bard ultimate into a Caitlyn trap is a guaranteed kill at level six. I like Bard a little bit more than Morgana because you're not 100% reliant on hitting a Morgana trap in order to get a kill in the laning phase. You've got a lot of treading potential with Bard with just his passive and with his Q, proccing that electrocute, a lot of burst damage. You just have a little bit more pressure in the laning phase than with the Morgana and once you do it the level 6 it's a free kill there so I would say that if you can play a good bard then this combo is super deadly if you're more so just wanting to play the easier version of the combo you can play the Morgana though one Morgana bind is pretty much a guaranteed kill or it's like a guaranteed flash throughout the laning phase. One thing I really like about this combo too or these combos and the fact that it's so good for solo queue is that even if you do fall behind a little bit even if you're not doing so well in the laning phase 
All it takes is that one Bard Ultimate into a Kate Trap or that one Morgana Bind into a Kate Trap and you're right back in the game. So don't be too discouraged if you're not hitting bindings in the laning phase or if you're not able to hit your Bard Ultimate right away. All it takes is one, and if you can hit that one throughout the game, then you are going to have really good success with this combo. All right, so arguably the most OP combo that you can play in this patch right now is Misfortune and Leona. This is just such a classic combo. It's been around for such a long time. So if you just want to pick up a combo and you just want to play it, no matter the meta, like this combo is always going to be good. No matter if Misfortune gets a little bit weaker, no matter if Leona gets a little bit weaker, because these champions just complement each other so well, the combo is always going to work for solo queue. The synergy is pretty easy to execute. All you want to look to do is just play off of the Leona crowd control. If her crowd control abilities are down, just wait for those to come back up, hit a Leona E, combo that with her Q, and you get yourself a guaranteed chunk in the laning phase, if not pick up a very early kill. So you should be looking to push for that level two, get that level two before the opponent. And if they're sitting in lane, if they're not respecting your all in, just move up get an all in on them and get yourself an early kill. At the level six there, just play off the Leona CC as well. If she hits an ultimate, Misfortune can get a fully channeled ultimate off on the opponent. Leona CC lock, the full duration on that, I'm pretty sure is like four or five seconds. So you're guaranteed a fully channeled Misfortune ultimate and it just allows for so much all in potential and so much kill threat throughout the game. So for this ninth synergy now, it's going to be Jinx and Blitzcrank, and this one is pretty much all reliant on the Blitzcrank player. If the Blitzcrank player is good, you're going to find yourself getting a ton of kills throughout the laning phase. So what you should be looking to do is play off the Blitz hook. When the Blitz hook hits, that's when you throw down the Jinx Chompers. The Jinx Chompers is going to allow you to just CC the enemy for a super long duration, and you should get a kill with that combo whenever a Blitz hook hits during the laning phase. Once you hit the level six, it's a guaranteed kill. You have so much burst potential at the level six there. And the Jinx just synergizes really nice with Blitz because the Jinx zap there with your W allows for the Blitzcrank to easily line up that hook. So what you can do in the laning phase is you can just play off the Jinx W. If that hits, Blitz can look to move up with his W, hit his hook, follow up into the Jinx Chompers. And just both these champions do a great job at complementing each other really nicely throughout the game. And then lastly here guys to round it out is going to be another new and unique combo that's kind of popped up over the past few patches and it's Ash paired up with Rumble. So Rumble support is something new down in the bot lane that we've seen in the higher elos over the past two or three patches here. It's doing really well right now and it does even better if you pair it up with Ash. Once you hit the level six with this combo, it's pretty much a guaranteed kill if you burn the enemy's flash. So try to time the enemy flash cooldown when you're playing this combo because whenever the flash is down, down, you know that if you hit an ash arrow you follow up the rumble ultimate that is a guaranteed kill right there if you get a fully channeled rumble ultimate off on the opponent and then if you're in range just hit all your abilities after that they're just going to burn and they're just going to die immediately so really nice all-in potential at level six and then throughout the laning phase as well you also do have some really nice poke coming out of the ash w along with the rumble e all right, so that is going to be all for the video, guys. Those are, in my opinion, the 10 strongest bot lane combos that you can play right now for Season 10. If you guys did enjoy this video, then be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have yet to already. So thanks for watching. Have an awesome day, and I'll see you in my next video.